Hi, I'm Chris Chesley from vKernel, here to show you how to manage your performance bottlenecks in Hyper-V with our Capacity Analyzer. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that you have our Capacity Analyzer appliance installed up and running, as well as the collector for VMM so we can get all the information. And how you do, do this is you go ahead and click on Current Bottlenecks. This will give you a very good overview of all of the performance bottlenecks, uh, utilization, all the statistics you need to determine where your problems are in your environment. So as you can see by the screen, we show CPU, memory, storage, and disk I.O. for every host and every virtual machine running in Hyper-V. So if I mouse over the 11%, which is the average utilization for CPU for this host, I can also see that it has a 20% peak utilization, memory has an 83% peak. So you can get a good idea of how the resources are being used across your environment. I can then go and select any particular category I want to. Let's just go ahead and pick on memory here. So with memory, we're looking at how it's used by each host and virtual machine, including the peak and any swapping you may be doing. And if I want to take a closer look at this Oracle system and see exactly how it's using resources, all the rest of that, all you have to do is double click on whatever metric you're looking at, and it will then take you down to a detailed analysis of how it's using resources. Uh, if there is a problem, we will make a recommendation on a resolution right here as well. So it's an excellent way of getting a view of how the virtual machine and the host is using resources and if you have any problems how you can get that resolved. So really that's that's the key is pick whatever metric you're interested in. Uh, look at all the related information, host, virtual machines, all of that and then you can drill down to any specific resolution that you may have. And that's how a lot of administrators are going to be using our uh, solution to manage their performance bottlenecks in Hyper-V. Okay. The other piece here is if I go to future bottlenecks, what we do is we take a look at uh, 30 or 60 days worth of past data. I can then project out or give you uh, proactive information on when you're going to have a problem in the future, and that's in the future bottleneck portion. Hope you found this video interesting. Thank you very much for using our software.